First, we need to go to settings. Next, in the settings, scroll down until you find security and privacy and then choose it. Over here, scroll down until you find more security settings and then we can set up the secure folder. Press continue, second time as well. And now we need to wait for the secure folder to be created. Secure folder is like a separate environment that allows you to create a password and also use biometrics in order to access the secure folder. In the secure folder, we can add apps of our choice. We can select apps from the list of apps that we have already installed. So in order to lock the app, you need to have it installed first. And unfortunately, even if you add the app to the secure folder, it will be a second version of the app, like a cloned version or a duplication instead of the main app. So the main app is still accessible, whereas the cloned version is locked behind the secure folder. So once we see this screen, we need to press done and we need to set up the password, which is of course separate from the one that we have for our phone in general. So I'm going to use a simple pin code. There we go. And then we can allow our Samsung account to be used uh, if in case we forget the password for our secure folder. I'm actually gonna not allow this, but of course you can do that. We can also immediately enable or disable biometrics if you want to, or if you don't want to use them. And let's go next. And there is our secure folder, which already has some apps uh, added to the list. And like I said, these apps are like the cloned version. So for example, if I open my files over here, it is completely empty because those are private. Um, these are private data stored in the secure folder. We can press this plus button in order to add new apps to the list. So let's say I'm going to choose YouTube. Of course, I can select multiple different apps, but I'm just going to stick with this one. And now if I try to open YouTube, I should not be able to be connect, um, locked into an account. And as you can see over here, we are not signed in. So the app in the secure folder uses separate data that is outside compared to the app that is outside of the secure folder. So for example, over here, I still can use this YouTube over here and it has my account that I have been using so far. But if I go to the secure folder, which is available now in the app drawer or the app screen, by the way, then in this case, I have the YouTube app over here and this one is different. It stores private data or separate data, so you can use a different account, different data, and so on and so forth. Now, here is also a tip. We can tap on these three dots over here on the right side, and we can, for example, lock and exit the secure folder because by default, the secure folder and apps that are in the secure folder are locked when you lock the phone first. But we can also go to settings and choose auto lock secure folder to each time I leave an app. So now if I exit the secure folder, I need to provide the password. If I open it for the first time, I need to enter the normal password, but then I should also be able to use biometrics. And of course, like I said, you can add multiple different apps. Pretty much every app can be added over here. If you want to remove the app, then we can press and hold the finger on the app and we have the, actually it is disable option, but because this is YouTube, so it is considered a system app, but, but any other third party app can be actually uninstalled. So if you see uninstall, you don't really uninstall the app completely from your phone. You just uninstall it from the secure folder. And also, if you press and hold the finger, you can add the shortcut to the home screen so that it is a little bit easier to access over here. So, so you may be wondering, what should you do with the app that is not locked? Well, in that case, unfortunately, there is not much that we can do. We can, for example, hide the app by using appropriate settings. So in the settings, we want to go to home screen. And then over here, we can go to hide apps on home and apps screens. And then we can select YouTube. And of course, YouTube will be gone from, from the app screen, from the home screen, so it will not be available anywhere. Um, whereas the secure folder app will be there. So the YouTube that is in secure folder is still visible because it is not the same app. And of course, while this works in some way, it is not really like 100% proof because the old YouTube app can still be accessible, for example, by using the Play Store. So you can go over here, enter YouTube, and of course I can just open 
the app without any issues and it will open the one that is not in the secure folder and I believe it is also accessible by going to the apps list so we can go to apps over here and if we scroll down then of course we will find YouTube here as well and there we go we can open it from here as well so of course it is still accessible but at the same time you can just hide it for your own uh, aesthetic um, pleasurement I guess um, and you can just use the locked as the primary one you can you don't have to store any data on the non locked app and at least there is a way to lock the app so we still have the password um, set up for the app of course or the fingerprint and that is essentially it so check out this playlist to find more guides like comment subscribe